Hello and welcome to Paper Play with Julie Kay. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out my latest video. And today I have a paper bag journal to share with you guys. And it's actually kind of a reconstructed happy mail that I received from Olivia Hernandez here on YouTube. A little while back I received a prize package from her and it included kind of a little paper bag album where she stuck a whole bunch of laces and trims and some vintage images just kind of some fun goodies and she had the this cover fairly well decorated and the more I looked at it I thought oh it'd be so cute to add one of the pictures that she included in the album and actually turn it into a journal so I did kind of deconstruct it and take it apart and I added I think one or two more paper bags to it and I added some digital images, some paper to it to kind of finish it off and make it more into a journal. So I just wanted to say thanks so much Olivia again for the prize package you sent. And for those of you who are interested, I will have that video where I kind of shared what Olivia sent with me so you guys can check that out if you want. And I'm also going to link Olivia's channel again. She is very, very talented. She's awesome when it comes to shabby chic and vintage styles. So if you guys are into those kind of things, I really highly recommend checking out her channel. And again, Olivia, I had so much fun just kind of playing around with the stuff that you sent me and reconstructing it into this little journal that I made. And so now I just wanted to share it with you guys. And then I also added a couple things that I received from a couple other people in here too in Happy Mail. I think I have a piece that I received from Sue Ann Thomason, a couple things from Amy Love and then also some things from Maggie White here on YouTube. So thanks ladies for your little contributions also that I put into this journal. And so again the basic guts of this journal um, were created by Olivia. She had already had this as her closure and this beautiful lace here which I love. And she had this flower up here and then the lace trim here and I think she also had this. What I ended up doing then is um, I took one of the images that she gave me, which is this gorgeous vintage lady right here with the hat, and I sewed it onto some craft um, cardstock, and then I went ahead and added this little piece right here, which came off of a collar that I got from Maggie White, just to kind of frame it off. And then I added this gorgeous trim down here from Sue Ann Thomason and then up in the corner I added some of these little stick pins that I got from Amy Love up there. I thought that was just really cute. And so again this is kind of a compilation of what I did and then also what Olivia did. So make sure you guys do check out that video that I'm listing below just so you can see what it originally looked like. And so in each pocket Olivia had included some different goodies and I just ended up leaving um, just one of the journal cards and maybe one other thing in each of these just so that there was room to expand if I use it as a journal um, that I could add more to it. So I just left one of the journal cards and this was one that she had included and I just went ahead and made it look a little more vintage by distressing it with some vintage photo ink on the sides. And then I went ahead on each of the pages in the background. You can see um, this gorgeous paper back here. It is some paper from Stamperia that I cut and added just so that there was paper on each of the pages. This image was included from Olivia and I ended up just um, sewing around it a couple of times. And then I went ahead and used some of the different goodies that she had included in the prize mail that she sent me and then I just kind of added them kind of throughout the journal. This was a tag that was part of the Stamperia paper collection. Yeah the paper bag right here is a paper bag that I got from Jean Rodriguez. She had sent me a tag kit and it was in this paper bag so I reconstructed it and added it to the journal. I when I took it apart I went ahead and added added that in. So again I just made a belly band with some of that stamp period paper and then a journal card and again I added some of the goodies that Olivia had included in the little package she sent me. Another little journaling card that I just inked the edges and then slightly um, altered it by adding a little piece of 
the lace that Olivia had included. I believe this little applique was one that I got from Debbie Vignola a long time ago and I've been kind of hoarding it for a while, but I did leave it so that it was open. So if you did want to tuck something here or a photo, you could. Right here, I just have a tag from, that I made from Stamperia, some lace trim, and I think this was either, this one was either Olivia had included or else it was one I got from Maggie White. But I did add tulle around the side to create the pocket, so I thought that was kind of a cute idea. But you can actually, when you pull it out, you can see the paper behind there because that stamp period paper is so pretty. And then inside this pocket, I just added another of the journal cards that Olivia had included. And then I'm not quite sure what people are calling these, but I've seen a few of them on Pinterest now where you just use your paper scraps and kind of make little spots where you can journal a little booklet and you just staple it together at the top. So I added that in there too for some extra journaling space. I just left this blank to put a photo or you can always add it like a piece of coffee dyed paper to journal on. There's a little applique in the side, a little pocket right here, and then here's one of the fun little pieces that Olivia had included and I just went ahead and inked the edges and so I left it open so that you could journal on that one. She had all these fun little lace trim right here that I is vintage that I cut up to use kind of throughout this journal, but I love that trim. It was so pretty. Then I created a little mini journal, again with some of that trim from Olivia. And I have some graph paper that I had coffee dyed, and instead of it actually turning like a coffee color, it leaked the blue, it was graph paper. And so it kind of leaked the colors, so it kind of turned more of a greenish color. And then the dots in there, are just because I had used a pizza pan that had holes in it, when I was co coffee dyeing it, so it kind of has that cool look with the little extra dots, but I thought this paper kind of matched that Stamperia collection pretty well, so I used it in here. I just had some remnants left of it. And another vintage image that Olivia had included, she must have like cut it out of some sort of ad because it was the real image, and so I just decoupaged it on and inked the edges. She also included this little file folder, and so I just used my hole punch and added a reinforcer there and just kind of used it as my middle signature. I added some cheesecloth and an applique. I think I got that one from Amy Love a long time ago. And then some more journaling cards, some more pieces from Olivia that I glued down. And I think that was a collar piece from Maggie White. And again, I just left it so you can either add a photo or journal there. Again, a gorgeous piece from Olivia. She had included this gorgeous wedding trim that I believe she must have tea dyed or coffee dyed. Again, in this little pocket here, I just included another one of those little mini journals and it's all just blank paper just to journal on. Next page, I have a little pocket. Again, Olivia included this gorgeous lace and then I think I added this trim on the outside. It was just a remnant for my remnant bin. And she'd also included that tag in the her package so I added that there. I created a little flip here and I added some coffee dyed paper that you could journal on when you flipped it open and then of course it's a pocket also some more tags from the Stamperia paper collection and then inside here just a couple more journaling cards from Olivia that I inked and added for journaling spots. And then again, I just repeated that same where I used the tool to make a pocket for the tag. And then right here, I do also have a tuck spot and I forgot to put something in there, so I'll have to go back and find something. But you can easily add something right there. Here's a couple journal cards, so I guess I can leave one of those. That doesn't quite fit there. I'll find another thing to put in there. And I left that one blank just so I could add a photo or something. And then another image. Um, this was one that Olivia had included. And so I just cut it up just a little bit so I could add it to the pocket. And I sewed it down. I added some more of that beautiful trim that she gifted me. And behind there I have a pocket. And then also this pocket right here where I have a couple tags. So I guess I could put one of these tags over here. 
And then at the very end, I have a couple more journal cards that Olivia, or one journal card that she had gifted me. And then I just have another one of those little scrap paper tablets with just random scraps that are stapled in it. And so um, that is my whole little paper bag journal that I wanted to share with you. And again, um, I created this out or reconstructed it out of some happy mail that Olivia Hernandez sent me. I got, really do hope you guys go and check out Olivia's channel. She's super talented and just a sweet lady. So um, please make sure you go and check out her channel. But again, um, thank you, Olivia, for, again, for the prize package that you sent. It was fun to kind of reconstruct this journal. And I just wanted to thank everybody so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day and happy crafting.